Hey, hello everybody, welcome to Daily Entomologist. Uh, this uh, this be uh, working on the collection little update video type thing. Um, I am currently in the process of uh, planning and uh, getting stuff ready for a couple videos I'm going to start be making here. Uh, getting stuff set up for that. Uh, and uh, hopefully those will turn out good and you'll be able to enjoy those. But for the moment, uh, I went and kind of did a little bit of sorting. And uh, as you can kind of see here, I was able to get all the my Sphinx moths into uh, unit trays and into a uh, drawer. I was uh, somehow able to get everything to fit uh, into a single drawer so far. Uh, that one I need to get a species ID label in there. But I really like the way it turned out. Looks uh, really nice. And uh, really glad I was finally able to get that all uh, situated here. Then, uh, along with that, actually, I'm just going to leave it there. A little crappier lighting, but. You get the idea. I also did the same thing with the uh, silk moths. And uh, as you can see, I still have a little bit uh, room for more species that hopefully will be filled up eventually. Uh, hopefully get another species or two this summer, but you never know on that. Definitely some uh, some beautiful moths right here. Uh, so yeah, and uh, I was able to free up some uh, small white field boxes, and with those, I am going to uh, get some. Just go through and identify some uh, stuff and then uh, just uh, update you on that. Um, and uh, give you a little sneak peek, sneak peek here real quick on one of the videos that I'm planning on doing. Uh, see right here we got some June beetles. And you see the little things on the thing is actually the genitalia that I was I dissected out of them um, for identification because to best and easiest way to identify June beetles is uh, through their genitalia, both male and female. So I was able to get those um, out right there. They're drying, and I have them on uh, little uh, points, which will be going on the pin as well. So I will be doing a video on how I get the genitalia from the beetles and then we'll be uh, using the microscope and uh, just going through a little bit of that more technical stuff. So I'm pretty excited to do that video. Um, so I'm currently in the process of uh, collecting uh, June beetles. Um, And if any of you, any of you in the U.S. Uh, want to send me some June beetles, feel free. I definitely won't say no. Uh, so yeah, so I'm going to get to IDing some of the things, and uh, I'll just do a little uh, update on those after a little bit. Okay, so put in a few hours of work, and uh, I am uh, 
kind of tired out. But uh, do a quick uh, run through. I kind of focused on the hemipterans, the true birds. Uh, got the uh, grades, uh, leaf footed bird species. These are the ones that I found so far. There might be others straggling in uh, other boxes and stuff. And then down to uh, more just uh, plant birds and seed birds and stuff down here. But I'm really happy with the progress on that. And up here, got some of the larger stuff. Giant water buds up there, and I uh, got the uh, cicadas. I believe these are all the cicadas I have in my collection so far. I'm really happy to finally get those sorted. Those took a while. But pretty happy those are done. And uh, yeah, so honestly, it was a pretty uh, productive day. I think uh, next round of identification, I'm gonna do try and get, do more uh, true bards here and uh, do more of the plant hoppers, tree hoppers, leaf hoppers, and uh, see what ones I can get done from those species that I have. Um, but let's, we'll see how those grow. So a few of them won't be pretty, a few of them won't be too bad to identify. But yeah. Productive day working on the collection. Uh, and, uh, tomorrow or the next video should be a, uh, collecting video. So I should be out. Uh, in the field tomorrow, and uh, hopefully I'll be able to show you guys uh, some of the things I find tomorrow. So, just a little update here. Hope you enjoyed, and I'll uh, see you guys in the next one. Bye bye.